We are now going to look at the generic steps for removing an FFP3 respirator. However, Pacific manufacturer's instructions should always be followed. The FFP respirators should be changed after each use, if breathing becomes difficult, if the respirator becomes damaged, or if it becomes obviously contaminated with bodily fluids, such as respiratory secretions. Before leaving the risk area, gloves, gowns or aprons and eye protection should be removed in the order it was put on and disposed of as clinical waste. To remove eye protection, it should be handled by the headband or earpieces only. Where non-disposable eye protection has been used, appropriate measures for decontamination between uses needs to be in place. Hand hygiene must be performed after removal and disposal. After leaving the area, respirators can be removed and disposed of as clinical waste by untying or breaking the bottom ties first, followed by the top ties or elastic, and then remove them by handling on the ties only. Hand hygiene must then be performed after the mask has been disposed of.